Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jose, but you can call me Juice and I hope y'all are having a great motherfucking planty day. So today we're just gonna be talking about some of my favorite plants right now. These are just some of the plants that I have been appreciating a little bit more lately. So if that sounds interesting, please make sure to stick around. And if you didn't already know, I'd be uploading plant content here every Wednesday and Saturday. So if you'd be looking for that, I got you. And you should definitely check out my other videos. And if you already have, why not click that subscribe button? You're already here. Also, don't forget to leave me a like or a comment on this video. It really helped my channel out and I also really appreciate it. But anyways, let's just get right into the plants. All right, guys. So the first plant we're going to be talking about is my philodendron plowmanii. And if you've seen some of my past videos, you're probably like, Juice, isn't that your philodendron mommy? Well, I actually recently found out that I don't freaking own a mommy. I have a plum eye. <laughs> so basically, I was on TikTok, you know, scrolling as I do. <laughs> and there's this girl on there who goes by the name ATL Plant Room. She's pretty well known. So if you're on TikTok, I'm sure you've at least seen one of her videos. But yeah, basically she was talking about the difference between the mame and the plowmanii. And essentially there's not too much of a difference between them when it comes to just like, you know, the look of them. But one thing that really sets them apart and defines the plowmanii are these little ridges that the petioles have. I'll definitely make sure to put some close-ups for you, but it's definitely one of my most favorite parts of this plant because I just think it's so cute. I mean, besides the leaves, because I mean, look at these. They are gorgeous. The philodendron mame does not have any ridges. It's just like a smooth petiole. So if you have a philodendron mame, or at least you think you do, I would definitely double check on it to make sure it's not a plowmanii. I'm happy to have a plowmanii because She's still just as beautiful, but I got this plant off of Etsy as just a little baby. I believe it was tissue cultured and she has just been doing amazing in my care. Like look at these leaves. She is sizing up more and more with each new leaf. You can see some of her baby leaves down here. These were some of the leaves that she had when I first got her. So yeah, she went from this, also ignore my freaking nail. Yeah, so she started from these little baby leaves and now she got these huge big mama leaves and they're only gonna get bigger, y'all. And I'm sure you've already noticed um, all these freaking roots on the bottom. So I really need to repot her soon, but for now I'm just letting her chill in my little greenhouse. But honestly, I'm gonna have to move her out soon because she is just getting way too big and is starting to cover the light from other plants. Anyways, let me stop rambling on about this plant as much as I love to do so. <laughs> and let's move on to the next one. All right guys, so next up is a plant I don't think I've ever shown on my channel before. And it's mostly because I got her pretty recently. It is my philodendron mayoi. Look at this leaf, <gasps> so pretty. And she has a new little baby leaf on the way, which is why she is one of my favorites right now. Not just because she's one of my newest plants. <laughs> and I'm just so proud of her. She has lots of roots growing up in here. But let me go ahead and tell you a little bit about her backstory. Basically, one day I was on the app Offer Up, just, you know, looking at plants in my local area. And I saw a philodendron mayoi cutting for only five dollars of course i had to get it um because online i think these go for like 40 bucks or something so that was definitely a great deal for me and i definitely recommend going on offer up or just like facebook marketplace even i don't personally use that but basically i'm just recommending to see what plants are being sold locally because you never know what you might find so far she's doing really good in my care i got her as just a cutting and she was already really well rooted when i got her so i just potted her right up and i'm just super excited for the future of these plants because i'm pretty sure when they're like more mature they look really freaking cool i mean this already looks really cool because this is a more mature leaf but i'm pretty sure it gets cooler than this so yeah i'm really excited for her future and to show you guys how much she grows anyways oh on to the next plant. <laughs> All right, guys, the next plant we're talking about is my Gopersha Warsawixii. And the reason this one is on my favorites list today is because for the longest time, 
she was giving me these leaves that just would always crisp or yellow and just were looking really sad and i never really knew why i think it was because i was not keeping up on the watering honestly i'm not entirely sure but y'all i don't want to jinx this but she is finally giving me a pristine leaf look at her so beautiful literally so perfect um and these plants are velvety if you couldn't already tell so super soft as well and i'm just so proud of her i feel like now we're on the right track i do have her in a self-watering setup and her roots be going crazy in here just look at this y'all so yeah and when i first put her in here she barely had any roots because a lot of them were actually rotted because the soil she used to be in i don't even think it was soil i think it might have been coco coir but it was just really really dense now i put her in my potting mix and a self-watering setup and so far <clears throat> sorry <laughs> so far she really seems to be loving it and i'm just super excited for the future of this plant she even has a little spider friend in here i'll make sure to show you guys a close-up and it eats the fungus gnats for me that like to go into here so i really appreciate her and of course i'm gonna let her stay here one i think they're cute I love little baby spiders <laughs> and two they help with the pest that was kind of off topic but <laughs> yeah i'm just super excited for the future of this plant as well and hopefully she keeps giving me these nice looking leaves but i feel like she will so super proud of her all right guys so this next plant i'm actually super excited to show you guys because i don't think i've shown her on my channel in a really long time we're gonna be talking about my syndapsis trubii moonlight and y'all look at her she is so beautiful so a couple months ago i put her on a trellis and i think she is definitely loving the trellis I used to have it trailing and it was really beautiful trailing as well. From time to time, she would give me runners, which is just a really common thing with syndapsis because if y'all didn't know, they're actually shingling plants. But I think putting her on this trellis has really benefited her because she hasn't put out a runner for me in such a long time. She has just been consistently giving me leaves and I don't even care if they're not like the biggest leaves because I just think it looks really cool to have this all filled up and just be like a wall of syndapsis dapsis so yeah she's starting to outgrow it so i think i am gonna also allow her to grow down the back side and like cover the back as well i don't know how well that's gonna work out because all the light it comes from one side you know so and i could get her a bigger trellis because she's not like attached to this with her roots she's just tied up i don't know if i'm gonna do that maybe i will actually but not anytime soon <laughs> i'll probably put up some side by side pictures so you can see what she looked like when i first put her on the trellis but i'm pretty sure she's grown a lot so yeah but anyways let's go ahead and move on to the next plant all right, next up, we're gonna talk about a plant I also feel like I don't really show that often, but it is my Alocasia Black Velvet, and y'all, just look at her. <laughs> this is her newest leaf, and it is so beautiful, and it is her biggest leaf, so I think we're definitely you know starting to mature but i also have this plant in a self-watering setup and the roots are also going pretty crazy in here she just lives in this dutch bros cup and honestly she loves it if y'all didn't know i got this plant as kind of just like a little bonus add-on plant when i ordered my philodendron ernestii so she was only like 10 bucks or something and y'all money well spent i'm super happy to have her in my collection she is the only other alocasia that i have um the other one that i have is the amazonica poly so i definitely want to step up my alocasia game and honestly if you're an overwaterer or just love watering your plants get a freaking alocasia because they literally love to be in moist soil and they're super heavy feeders too so if you love fertilizing your plants definitely get a freaking alocasia and i'm just excited to watch this one keep sizing up and up um i don't know if it's gonna get as big as my amazonica but she's definitely getting bigger let me stop rambling and let's move on this next part is gonna kind of be like a two for one special because it's the same plant but just like two different varieties we're gonna be talking about my euphorbia trigonas and y'all these plants have grown so much this summer so we're gonna talk about my rubra first 
basically this one just can get red you can kind of see a little bit of red on it but if i was able to give her some more direct light she would be a lot more red but regardless i'm just super proud of how much she has grown because if y'all didn't know i got this plant in san francisco when i was visiting i also got my go persia in san francisco yeah so both of these plants are from out of town so when i first brought this plant back home she was doing pretty good but then I put her outside for whatever reason and she literally dropped all of her little leaves and she was just this main part right here so she was literally just looked like a cactus so ever since then i brought her back inside and she has been doing really freaking good it did take her a while to start growing for me again but once she started growing she hasn't stopped and literally all these new branches are brand new like she just grew these in this apartment so yeah i'm just super proud of how far she has come i'm scared to put her back outside because i don't want her to freaking drop all her leaves again but i also want to be able to get her to be more red because when i did have her outside for that little bit of time this like main stalk got super red like bright red but regardless like i said i'm just super happy with her and then the next one as y'all can see is a lot taller <laughs> um and this is the euphoria trigona green i think and i got this one at pistols nursery in portland oregon so she's still technically from out of town but like not by that much but yeah ever since i got her she's been doing really freaking well for me but then when i moved into this apartment unfortunately one day my cats freaking knocked her over and she literally fell onto the heater so she still has a little scar from that which i think is kind of cute you know like you can see her little battle scars <laughs> but after that she like was shocked and like halted any growth like she did not do anything for the longest time kind of like with my rubra so i feel like these plants are a little sensitive when it comes to like dramatic changes so if you have one of these and it hasn't done anything for a long time don't lose hope because they will come back so she stopped growing right here where it gets all skinny but as you can see she started back up and now she is you know back to being lush and healthy and she has a bunch of babies down here as well she did already have a lot of these babies but definitely some of these are some new stocks and they all have definitely grown a bunch more she even has a little baby branch coming up from the top so i'm just super in love with these plants i definitely want to get more euphorbia there's like the euphorbia ghost or whatever it's called where it's like just white I know there's more than that, but that's just the first one that comes to mind because she kind of be on my wish list or whatever. But I just really love Euphorbia. Like they look like cactus, but they're not. They're succulents. And I just love their little leaves. Like it's so cute. How can you not like a Euphorbia, you know? I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please make sure to leave me a like and you can leave me a comment letting me know which one of my fave plants was your favorite or you can just tell me what your favorite plant right now in your collection is. But yeah, I had a really fun time showing you guys all of these plants and just hanging out with y'all. I probably should have mentioned this in the beginning of the video, but I am doing a plant giveaway right now. So if y'all haven't seen my giveaway post, it was my last video that I uploaded so if you want to enter make sure to go check that out and if you didn't already know i'd be uploading plant content here every wednesday and saturday so if you'd be looking for that i got you and you should definitely check out my other videos and if you already have why not click that subscribe button you're already here i hope you guys have a great rest of your wednesday and i'll see y'all on saturday bye